So for some people that may not know who Rob Victim is, if you're living under a rock, go ahead and uh, tell everybody a little bit about yourself, man. Um, yeah, man. Um, I am. I was born in Texas. Spent a lot of my time in New York. Um, I'm currently back in Texas. I've been in Austin for a couple of years now. Um, I'm associated with a couple of crews. I'm part of Nice Wonders DJ crew, uh, crew school DJs. Um, I'm part of the Beat Fanatic crew, which encompasses, you know, like Slop Funk Dust, Jake One, um, quite a few other members. I've been down for, for several years, and I've been making beats since I was about 12. I started on an SP1200, um, and I currently switch back and forth between my iPad and my Ableton Push. And uh, I am a boom bap aficionado, and that is tried and true with everything that I do. Yeah, that's what's up, man. And we also like to do this every time we have a guest on with this. What's your five favorite um, iOS apps? Um, okay, well, Beatmaker 3 would be number one. Um, Procreate, Luma Fusion, um, Koala, and hmm, I would have to say the Documents app. Mm. Mm. That's that's my top five. That's what's up. That's dope. That's dope. How is that Procreate? Yo, it's real dope. Um, I did. Um, I've got a series of EPs coming out. They're they're all focused around bad guys from like the '80s TV shows. I put two of them out, and all the all the covers I did in Procreate. So it's just like crazy type stuff. But people that really know what they're doing, not me, but people that really know what they're doing with a with a with a pencil or a paintbrush, the things you can do on an iPad now it's just it's unreal. It's mm. unreal. I know lots of people that you know like. Some some guys that I grew up with graffiti dudes that that swear by it. Mm. Um, lots of tattoo sh- tattoo parlors. That's what they they all they do is buy iPad Pros now for their for their artists in the, in the studio because mm. they can draw them out and procreate. Then they can paint. Then they can print them out right there. Oh, and then boom, shit. yeah, stick and go. Mm. And that's that's the wave. Yeah, iPads are changing the world. I, I mean, I'd, I, I'd say probably in the next, I DJ a lot, and I'd say once this iPad runs Toronto, I'm done with laptops. Yeah, I feel you. And speaking speaking yeah. of DJing, I saw, I, I said this a couple of episodes ago, but like um, as a DJ, you ever like uh, at a DJ set or, or whatever, a club, whatever, and you see another DJ and you just, as a DJ, you critique the shit out of them because that's what you do, right? <laughs> You're like, man, that mix, that that, that this. Is... <laughs> I, I'm so horrible. Like, I'm the worst. And I went into one of your uh, live DJ sets on Instagram and I was so fucking impressed and stuck. Now I try to come in all them shits. When I see that you're live, I'm like, oh, shit, get the aux cord. Yo, you <laughs> do some great blends and mixing, and I love the way you just go back. Like, the switches, if you guys never been in one of his shits, he'll go from new school to old school, and it's just, it's amazing. I love the way you fucking DJ, bro. Well, I, I appreciate that. You know, like, I mean, I came from, you know... I, the DJs that taught me taught me that you have to be, you have to blend records before you can even get to, to scratch them. Yes, sir. You know, before I was even thinking about making beats, I was putting two records together. You know, like at ten years old, mm-hmm. I, I had my first pair of turntables real early in my life, and had this terrible Gemini mixer. But <laughs> <clears throat> I did I wasn't worried about scratching because they were like, "We'll teach you to scratch, but first thing you got to do is you got to put these two records together. You got to mm-hmm. make it. You got to make it work." <clears throat> and you know the, the scratching just comes eventually, you know. Yeah. And to rock a party, you have to be able to, at the drop of a, you know, like the drop of a dime, you've got to be able to go from like maybe a Drake joint right into right into some damn, you know, like Cindy Lauper. You never know. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So you have to be able to, you have to be able to have that ability, you know. Like nowadays, thank God for Serato, so I don't have to break my back breaking records into the, into the club anymore. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But not that I'm DJing in clubs anymore right now anyway, because it's COVID mm-hmm. shit. But I think you just have to be, you have to be you have to be able to master the blends and 
transitions. Otherwise, you know, it's just a train wreck, and nobody wants to dance to a train wreck. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. You know, you know, yeah. and, and I I look at it the same way too. You know, like people are like well, man, nobody nobody wants to hear that boom bap shit in the club. Well, that's fine, but early in the night. I'm going to have to be able to go from Mob Deep into, you know, into some more popular shit, you know, like, mm-hmm. that's, that's the name of being, a, that's just, that's what being a DJ is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and you have to master your craft in anything that you do. Yep. You know. Yep. That's the thing I was loving about you. The, the first one I went in, you just pulled me in because it was so many different things you was playing. I was like, okay, he's playing for everyone. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I love that shit. Like, it, I, I wish I could remember the two songs. I was like, what? Did he just mix that with that? But I was like, that shit was so dope. Like, it went from, like, some 2000 hip-hop to, like, some 80s pop song, but it worked. And I was like, yo, this was my jam. Like, that's what you want. You know, you yeah. want people to feel that as a DJ. You want them yeah. to be like, yo, that's crazy. Like, but this was my shit. You know, if, but, you, if, you, if you look back and, like, I don't know, how much, you know, like, y'all are, you know, into the older movies and everything. But if you look at, like, I was watching Beat Street yesterday. Mm. If you look at, when he's spinning at, when he's spinning at Herc's Club, he's he's playing, like, all sorts of just random stuff and it's working, right? And that's, that's mm. always playing in the back of my head, like, no matter where you are, no matter what club you're in, you have to be able to be that versatile, you know? Because you never know what kind of, unless you're in a specific kind of club, you never know what the vibe is going to be. So you have to be able to jump on me definitely i'll screen record i i I do that a lot (laughs) oh god speaking of screen recordings my bruce free is broke i'm so mad i I open it and two seconds later just crashes for no reason you you got to delete that and reinstall you know how these apps be they i tried it's still doing it what still doing it i'm heartbroken (laughs) you guys don't know how much i use the um I mean, oh, there's other no. ways you can extract from video, but I that's my go-to to extract shit from video. You got I audio screen- shit? Yeah, I know you could do it in there, too. Yeah, yeah, that's how yeah. I, I do my audio shit. But, um, yeah, Bruce Free was my shit. Because it's also, it's a it's a noise reduction tool, really. Oh, that's yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And it works mm-hmm. great, especially being it's on the iPad. That shit, like, if I'm sitting outside in the backyard and you hear the neighbor's kids, the dog, you hear the mm-hmm. wind, I can take all that out with that boost for you. It works mm-hmm. so good. Without, you know, dimin- I, like, diminishing the audio. You told me that before, and, I, and I, I've and i got that app, and I still, like, it's, it's another joint I still haven't even really used yet, you know? Yeah, it's good. And then, you know, the added bonus was extract audio from the video, so that's yeah, what I was yeah. using it a lot. And that shit, because I got that that DJ Pro where you could separate your fucking, you know, you could take the vocals. They, yo, you know they got an app that does it does it for you now, right? No, what? Less unmix or something like that. Stop, like, I think I'm it's looking like, it up right now. Yeah, that ass is like five dollars. Um, and that uh, separates the stems. Yeah, so it stems it out for you. It, they got is a it free- clear though. It's it's just as good as like the programs AI and, shit, and, yeah. and all that. Yeah, you know. Wait, like, what's the name? Uh, I think it's less unmixed or something like that. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, who's the dude? The Spit Club put me on uh, on, on Instagram because they got I got the free version. The free version only lets you put um, ninety seconds worth of audio in there. That's all I need. Well, <laughs> that's that's, that's eighty yeah. seconds more than I need. Yep, <laughs> ninety seconds is great. Come you want to laugh? I have this shit. Didn't even know I had this shit. <laughs> <laughs> You see, this is my damn problem. <laughs> this, Yo, is this is my damn silly. problem. Yeah, no, it's no, crazy. Trying, yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can fade like the drums or fade like the other, like you mm. know what I mean. It's it's basically splitter, splitter, Get. but like, yeah. Get. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Thanks, that geez. Your, you can, yeah, you can do that on your phone. On I know. Phone. I downloaded it on my phone. Thanks, geez. You know I mean? This yeah, is what awesome. That? What's that? What's that? Yo, this would be dope just to like manipulate samples and then upload them to the cloud and then have them for later whenever I'm in Beatmaker. Yo, I've been doing this shit all month. All month yep. like that. I've been having so much fun. There's a, um um you, you you know about the uh shortcuts app? So this there's a dude, he made a um he made a shortcut that allows you to export a bunch of sounds and it, it goes into a Beatmaker 3 uh program or whatever. Like I um I, 
<laughs> and it exists. Like, so you can just make the, you know, you collect all your samples on your phone or whatever, and it just makes a program and it does, basically does the same thing, puts it in the cloud for you or whatever. I think I think that's how it works. I haven't used it in a minute. Yeah, pretty but, much. Um, but uh, I, um, I I can just send you the link for the shortcut and you just put it on your phone or whatever. I'm you know what I'm saying. talking about. Yeah, um, I know exactly. What Sion, you're talking about. Sion the producer. That's his name. Yeah. Sion the producer. He he uh, like he she he uh. He made he made it. He joke. got a few shortcuts he made, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he, you he, put me on to him, yeah. Uh huh. Cause I, I mess I mess with the shortcuts like like crazy. I got a um I I found a shortcut that like it, it basically pulls it uh downloads the videos from Instagram for you. Cause like my um repost app, it's insurance be working for like three months and then they and then it just go crazy on you. So I just got a, a shortcut for that. So I, I just pull it and then I just make my own like repost template uh in Luma Fusion. You know what I'm saying? Like like. You know, so, but like the shortcuts, I mess with those hard body. But yeah, Sion the producer, S E O N N T H A producer. Yo, cheese. This What's is up? totally off topic, but Uh-oh. it reminded Uh-oh. me. Remember the shortcut you sent me? Like, if you get pulled over by the cops, it'll send. Yes. You could customize the shortcut. I'm sure you guys might have saw it. Mm-hmm. It's a shortcut that basically, if you get pulled over, you can customize the shit prior. To where it'll text like your close family members mm-hmm. or whatever, and it'll tell them the location, you know what's going on. And um, so when she sent it to me, I'm trying to customize it. You know, I'm a little slow with you know technology <laughs> and shit. Yo, I must have activated and I sent all my kids and everyone important to me that <laughs> message. So all of a sudden my phone starts going crazy. Like, where are you? What's going on? What's wrong? I'm like, oh shit. I didn't mean to hit send. Like, I was just trying to customize this shit. Yo, I had like six people like calling me, like, yo, is everything all right? Like, yo, I was like, damn. But my bad. That was totally off topic. No, that's hilarious. That you, it, it shit really works. <laughs> it, it works. It works. No, nah, yo, I, yo works. I, I must have just shortcuts hard body. Like they got, they got, they got a joint. They got a shortcut that um extract audio from from video. Like whatever the last video is um on your um in your in your in your camera roll. Like mm. they 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 got a like you like whatever it is you have that as the last video. Um, it has to be like the last last thing in your camera roll. I think, but like you just run the shortcut and it just finds it. Boom. Extracts audio, then ask you where you want to save it. You know what I mean? You can use a, the files app or, or, or um, what's the uh, AirDrop it. You know what I mean? Mm. Right. That's yeah. dope. That's yeah. right. Yo, yo, I, I told you my computer retired, so, <laughs> <laughs> so like, <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do, man. Like, uh, like I'm, 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 at, I'm actually at the point where I think I might have to buy a computer, like right now, just. Cause uh, cause you, cause of the distance learning type thing going on, like mm. it just makes life a little bit easier. But like, if it if if that wasn't going on, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I probably just be straight up on some just straight iOS like completely. Cause I've been like that probably since January, maybe before January. I don't know. Like, like I, I you know what I mean? Like, I don't remember having a computer at this point. <laughs> yeah, it, no, nah, it's definitely like that. I haven't used the only thing I use the computer for right now is to record these shows, and I wouldn't mm. really even have to, you know what I mean, if I didn't want to. But I haven't used the fucking computer in a minute either. Mm. Yeah. And if I do, I'm literally like bouncing out shit from the iPad into the computer. Maybe you know what I mean. If I feel like, cash or something, do you touch the screen? All the time, yeah. Swiping that shit. Yeah, I always have my girl. I was messing with uh, what's that? Uh, NPC Beats or whatever. Uh, is that because like my iPad was dead? I was like, well, I'm gonna download this one. It's free. Let me mess with it. So I'm on there trying to like make the uh, wave larger. <laughs> <laughs> my girl, like, what are you doing? I'm like, being stupid. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Fingerprints all on the laptop. <laughs> all on it. Now she got the iMac. I'm, I'm up there like, oh, okay. like, what are you doing, stupid? I'm like, <laughs> force of habit, force of habit. <laughs> and that, before I get into that, that's another My thing fault. that makes the um, iPad great. You know, it's hands-on. You know what I mean? Man, listen. Fuck I love that, that mouse. <laughs> I, I, I still oh, use no, the mouse. I've been, on, uh, yeah, I've been watching, uh, what's it called lately? Uh, what's that joint? Um, Cobra Kai. So I, I'm on my 80s rock Oh, yeah. Right now. <laughs> I've been meaning to, to check that out. How is yo, that? let me tell you. Though. There's no mercy. Sound, though, Joe. Yo, the soundtrack <laughs> is fire. 
I yeah, bet. I'm gonna lie to you. I, I, found, I already found the soundtrack on on, um, on iTunes because uh, <laughs> the um the the song that go that at the end of every episode, the first four bars of that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Word. Yeah. Yo, I find the best shit you. to sample on like documentaries or shows like that yeah. all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, as a kid, I always, I always used to love like, like I would always like grab soundtracks and movies because movie soundtracks always had like the, like the, that, that, that real like that all that act, orchestral shit. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, you know, like, like, like I got, I got, I got like a couple James Bond soundtracks and stuff like that. Like the old right. choice, which is an endless well of inspiration right there. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, you yeah. know, even if you don't want to sample it, you can just right build off the vibe. You know? Yeah, like, hell yeah. Right. Or you can take it, put it in Ableton, and then use that harmonizer the, where it eliminates everything else except for the harmony. Yeah. And then you can pull and do whatever you want with it. What is this you speak of? <laughs> yeah, some of my are best friends. Are, are you unaware, sir? Are you unaware? Yeah, I'm very unaware. I, I've been on Ableton like, for like three years. I tell you, you know, my computer, you know, it's so tired. <laughs> there's, there's three things you can do in Ableton with samples outside of just, you know, manipulating them. Mm-hmm. You can highlight a certain amount of the sample, right click, and you can pull the MIDI data. Yeah, and that, that I'm from the about. sample in melody, harmony, or drums. Shit. And you can go through and like I've done it with I've done it with drum patterns, you know, like drum breaks where like there's certain drum breaks like the Amen drum break that mm-hmm. you're gonna get your ass sued if you use it anywhere. Dude. But you can pull that pattern and put your own drums in there, you know. And if you're aware of how velocity works, you can make your own breaks quickly that mm-hmm. way. Mm. But it's it's nuts what you can do in Ableton when it comes to sound design. That's yeah. the one thing you can't do on iPad right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying my hardest to. That, that's been my like my lifelong quest since getting on the iPad to try to like get that serious sound design. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get close to it, but it's it's hard. It's hard. You got. You, it's there's some things that just aren't there yet. It, yeah. Give it a couple of years and it will be. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I can see yeah. Ableton being on an iPad. I can see that easily. Yeah, I'm waiting for all those shits to come over here to the iPad world. Yeah, you, you know what I'm waiting. I'm waiting for reason. Reason, mm-hmm. but I know it ain't gonna happen. I know it ain't gonna happen because that that one that that reason port, or if you want to call it a port, it, it just. <laughs> Wasn't yeah. reason, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't oh, know they're making they, too much. They're making too much money, bro. They're not going to Iowa. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I, I, some I, yo, things, yeah, for the money. I, I'll be honest with you. I, I like, I, I love reasons. So like, that's one of the damn bad choice of words. But that's one of the reasons why I'm getting, uh, you know, why I have to get a computer. So I gotta get. I got so many like beats and stuff within reason already. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that Ableton thing sounds very, very uh, appealing. Cause uh, you, uh, I sold a push too to get my first iPad. You know what I'm saying? Like, like so only because my computer, it, like I would turn on Ableton and and my computer would be at 100 percent um CPU usage, and I I wouldn't be doing nothing. Yeah, <laughs> like, I just had it on. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I was like, yeah, this ain't gonna work out. So, well, geez, you, know, you and I, you and I talked extensively about my my despise for why I moved over to Ableton because. Mm. Akai refuses to up, update their stuff because I was oh. I was mm-hmm. I was an MPC guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went yeah. from the I went from the SP twelve hundred over to Akai, and I used wait, them to, for wait wait the, the the digital Akai's. You went from a twelve hundred SP twelve hundred to to like one of the digital Akai's, not like the like the legacy joints. No, no, I went from an SP twelve hundred to an MPC sixty. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but and then, then I've been on a Kai for that. Imagine how long it's been since the SP twelve hundred was relevant. Like yeah, yeah. per se, like mm. people still want them if they're wanting to spend five grand for one. But yeah. um, when I upgraded the MPC X, it frustrated me so it made me so mad because it was constantly crashing. Mm. And that's why I moved over to Ableton because I I was so angry with the Kai. Mm. I still am. <laughs> I feel you. I and, yeah, their, I was, and their apps frustrate the piss out of me too. Like, God. Yep. You, yeah, I, 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 I am PC Pro. Like, I, I, I've seen people like cook up and crazy in that joint. And I had, I made one beat in that joint. And like, for me, it was like, 
I, I forced myself to do it. You know what I mean? Mm. I was like, no, I'm making this damn beat. You know what I mean? And, and like, well, have, and have you, they fixed? The, we're way on tangents here. My bad. But no, it's all good. We do what we do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> have they fixed it on the IMPC where you can just add audio from like files or anything? No. Oh, no. I, I, I no. No. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm not like. They've been having certain things in beta tests for so long and it's just not getting better that it's just like, I gave up on that joint. I gave up on that joint. I mean, there's a reason why Machine took them over. Mm -hmm. Like, their popularity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because Akai just was like, no, we're just running things. Nobody's ever going to take us out. But remember, too, they like Akai got bought out by like Newmark. You remember, like, like around the time, like when the, with like the one thousand and twenty five hundred, all that came out, because mm -hmm. uh, like the one thousand and twenty five hundred to me, like those are dope. But 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 the operating systems on those were crazy. So you had to get like the the JJOS joint. JJOS, yeah. And because because I had I had the one thousand, I had a twenty five hundred for a day, but it um it was only playing out the uh, like the right side, and I didn't realize that that was actually an easy fix or whatever. You know what I mean? But um. But the one thousand man, I cut my teeth on that joint. I, I love that joint. Love that joint. Yeah, man. When you if you once you added the JJOS, it was a twenty five hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that yo that the joint was crazy. And the screen at that time was like probably like one of the largest screens that you had uh, on a on a on a sampler, like with the with the waveform editing and everything. So, but yeah, but like Newmark, that that was I think that those was the first Newmark uh, 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 products or whatever. And then I remember online, people used to call them Nukai, and they used to like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like shit on it. Like, I, and they, you know, people would spend more time online shitting on shitting on it than they would spend actually on the damn machine. Like, <laughs> but I ain't go, yo, that that one thousand man. Listen, I opened that thing up so many times. Like, I had to like replace attack switches. Um, you put, had to replace the, the pad sensors on that. Oh, one, yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. I had I had the uh, the original one thousand. I had the individual pads and so i had to get the whole pad upgrade and stuff like that i had the fat pads and i i, I went crazy with that thing <laughs> like i, I mean look look at how influential that shit is right like mm -hmm. i was that influential and they just dropped the fucking ball mm -hmm. that's crazy right they could be they could be running the fuck i mean look at beat maker like who are those guys mm -hmm. you know out of nowhere and they're the yep. shit mm -hmm. yep mm-hmm I mean, if you look, and if you look at Beatmaker, if you look at Beatmaker, like if you, it's 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 basically like it copies the whole like the sixteen pad format, everything like that, you know, like yeah, so. you can flip the Ableton too, like you can flip all like, and it's it's sad that Akai didn't jump on and figure it out. Yeah, and now they yeah. got like a live loop machine that's just like the push, but it's just for like, I just I, I question the focus, you know what I'm saying? Like I question mm -hmm. the focus. That's all. Yeah. I can I can sit here and tell you all day what my feelings are about that shit. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point they're just dropping anything. You know what I mean? They came out with that. What's what's the? It was like a sequencer. Was the fire or the? Oh, what's the, the other one for, 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 for fruit loops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, Akai fire. I, I see a lot of people with that giant or whatever. I don't. Like, I don't understand what would you need that for. It's well, um, I'm gonna it's tell a, you that's a step sequencer, ain't it? Yeah, that's for the programmers. I call them programmers. I don't want to shit on people that do that, but you know yeah. what I mean? Because I like to play my shit out, but that's exactly what that's for. Mm. Like, it's kind of like having like an old TR-808 with just for your... Mm. Yeah, pretty much. I guess. Yeah. Pretty much. But uh, yeah, at this point, it. I don't know. And then when they came out with that one, and then I'm like, man, they just... At this point, I think they're just in it for the money right now. <laughs> they're just dropping anything to get that bag. I haven't it's... touched the one yet. I haven't looked at it, but it looks like it's flimsy to me. It looks like it's light. Hmm. Yeah, I, I... I have my eye on it because, like, it, it remind me of it remind me of like the one thousand, but like with a Superman cape. You know what I mean? Because like, because <laughs> <laughs> like, or, or like you know, all the things you could possibly do with it. Because it, it, it's, it's got a touch screen, right? Or, or is that one not touch screen? I don't. That's a good question. Let me see. I just like that's because like, and, and plus like like because it's like it's small. Only thing I don't like is I mean like is that um, I think that is touch screen. It is. Yeah. See, I, like to me, that's like a that's like a like I said like a one thousand like with, with superpowers. But I don't know. Like every time I every time I mess with the um the like the NPC like software, it's it's like a 
like for me, I, it the workflow, something about it just doesn't like it doesn't like work for me like that much. You know what I mean? Like I, and like I feel like I have to like really, really, really get used to how it works or something like that. You know, but. Mm. The software, it is to me, the, the software doesn't bother me as much as just like the constant crashing. Mm. Like, anytime I fire up the, the 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 X, like my Renaissance, my NPC Renaissance, that thing was a beast. Like I had that from the day it came out up until the day I upgraded to the to the X, and that thing had been through multiple state, multiple countries. It had been all over the fucking place, and it was just solid. Mm. And that NPC X, it's sitting in that that closet <laughs> right there, <laughs> and it's it's not even in the box; it's on the floor. That's how disrespectful I am of it. <laughs> Wait, you crash in standalone mode as well? Yep. What? I never really had problems with the X like that. Well, and I'll be perfectly honest with you; I've only done standalone mode like once or twice okay. because I'm doing so much pre-editing before I sample. Gotcha. But it's just easier to use it as just the controller part, you know? Yeah. See, I don't ever use it. I don't like their software. I'd rather use it in standalone. Makes sense. Yeah, so maybe that's why I never have that much problems Yeah. with it. Um, But I ain't going to front. This NPC Live 2 crashed quite a few times on me in standalone. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? This shit's brand new. What's going on? Yeah, they might have to get a call. I might have to get a switch. That's how bad. Like I'm like I never experienced. Serious? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah, and it's not even like a lot on there. You know, the space is still good. So I'm like, why is this shit crashing? Like, I'm also not a like, shit. I'm into like the aesthetics of it too, and I just feel like this rectangle box. I'm like, these guys took years to design. Like Roger Lynn, like disrespecting the man's name. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Like, that man designed these drum machines to make them look gorgeous, you know? Like, I remember yep. the first time I saw one of those 2000, when I saw the, the MPC-62, the the 60 with the 2, which had the mm -hmm. pads on the other side. Mm. Yeah, I that's, I, that I like that one. I like that one better, of, of the two MPC-60s, yeah. yeah. It was a 12-bit sampler, just like mm -hmm. the, the 1200 was, but it had more time on it, you know? Mm -hmm. But I just remember looking at it and being like, damn, that thing is beast you know yeah. i can go on and on i feel you on it i i, I used to have a 3000 and like and, like, and then yeah 3, yeah let me tell you i, I regret i regret selling that thing every day she had a name too her name was keisha and i, I sold <laughs> keisha and every day every day i'm like damn oh keisha 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 and i, <laughs> I, I refuse to put that type of money up for one now because like i know if i get one if i get one second hand i gotta get it from somebody who like refurbished and like taking care of it because like the insides be disgusting like this s1000 i got oh my god like the inside of this thing uh, mm. i agree yeah. yeah. because i just put it i put a, a screen and a um and a uh what is it a, a floppy emulator in it and so um and like when i opened it i was like oh my god all right so i'm gonna have to come in here one day with the air duster Mm -hmm. And like, and just, just, and get a mask and just go in. You know what I mean? Like, like, cause this joint is crazy on the inside. Disgusting. Like, mm -hmm. I remember when that 3000 came out, I remember thinking to myself, man, they know that somebody's going to be sitting in front of a record player for a long time. Cause it had the damn, it had the, 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 the wrist. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the soft the part rest. for your wrist uh -huh. to lay on. And I was like, oh man, they, they're like, Fucking carpal tunnel. They're gonna make sure people are comfortable <laughs> when we're chopping up these fucking records. Yeah, good. yeah, and, and chopping on chopping on that thing. Oh my goodness, I I learned the hard way. Like, like it's just like that you're gonna be there a while. I love that. I love that. I, I love yeah. that. Like the, the the um like sampling without uh without the waveform because you, you you gotta use your ears. You know what I mean? Like yep. so like so that that part don't bother me. Um, but it's just. Like I didn't really like at the time. Like I'm a, I was a dummy. I'm sampling the whole record and, and like, cutting it and then like doing it again or like copying and pasting Copy or something and like that to the pad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, man. But I remember the first time when when I got a 2000 XL, and I was still I was still chopping samples like I would on like the the 60. Mm -hmm. Um, and then my friend was like, "Yo, you you know you can look at the waveform on there." And I'm like, "Shut up." <laughs> and me, I'm like, oh shit! 
<laughs> and that's when I learned how to do the, you know, the chopping, you know, on the on the one, one and two and three and four, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Now that shit does that shit for you, which is incredible. But yeah, I remember the first time I saw that waveform, I was like, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> incredible. Have you all talked about with the Infonics product yet? Who's that? Infonics. Um, I don't think so. Um, this guy has he has a, it's called an RX nine fifty. Oh yeah! Oh hell yeah! yeah. yeah. I love that. Yo, I, yeah, he changed his oh, name yeah. or something oh, like that. Yeah. I love that RX nine fifty. What? I throw that bitch on everything. Same. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was putting that shit on the master butts. So a lot of people. <laughs> it, it literally emulates. It literally emulates an, a nine fifty. Like yeah, it emulates it perfectly. I love mm-hmm. that joint. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of my I, go-tos. I have it on my That's iPad, him. and I, I use it in Ableton both. Yeah, because he, he got it. Um, doesn't he have another? Um, he has a synth, too. Doesn't he have a synth on a, on a computer? It's like the, um, supposed to be like the Sega. Um, like Wait, the Sega. Well, what's the, his name? Because I, I, I know he, he it was his name was different before. I know on a, on a on a computer they, they have a, a synth that's supposed to be like the one that's in like the Sega Genesis or something. The like uh, Rimcast. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's on his it's on the front page there. Genesis thirty five one fifteen revive us again. I'm gonna check that out. It's free. It's Is free. It? I like free. <laughs> no computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so good. I got I got enough synthesizers to make me crazy. Hardware, hardware and uh, iOS. <laughs> yeah, we are we are we are truly truly living in a in a tech embraced society, mm-hmm. and the, the things that you can do with this technology is unheard of. Like mm-hmm. we're we are literally on you know the cusp of like some really really groundbreaking things that are happening just because like the new iPads. Like I'm reading some of these specs, like they're blowing out MacBook Pro. Mm-hmm. Like the, the processing power is better than a MacBook Pro, so I just you know either get on board or just shut up. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking it's it's unreal what you can do. It's unreal. Yeah. I mean, yep. You you couldn't tell me that that fucking Mad Lib made all those bandana beats on a fucking iPad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And nobody would have believed. Nobody would have believed anybody if, unless it was Mad Lib saying it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know saying. Mm-hmm. But I guarantee you, you will never be able to tell the difference between my Beatmaker 3 beats or my Ableton beats or my MPC beats. You'll never be able to tell the difference. Mm-hmm. Never. Yep. Right. I challenge well. somebody to figure out. There's, there's <laughs> three beats on my there's three beats on my Ironside EP that were made on my iPad, and I challenge somebody to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to ask you, man, to plug some of your projects and uh, ask what you got, what you're working on right now or who you're working with. Um... I'm uh, I'm in the middle of like I said this year that I was gonna do as much as I possibly could, without driving myself insane. Um, <laughs> but I decided to do these four EPs, and in the midst of doing these four EPs, several other projects fell in line as well. Um, I've got a full link with my my man Shite from Albany. It's coming out. It'll be the second record we've done together. Um, I've got some stuff. Um, the third and fourth EP is the bad EP. I've got, I've got a Benny the Butcher joint that is just mm. insane. Mm. I've got um, my man uh, Gore-Tex from Nonfiction. Like, there's just you know, like there's things that that I'm constantly working on and building on to hopefully be project type stuff. But most it's just these EPs and these two full links that I've been working on solidly. That's what's just, up. Um, Mm-hmm. And that last oh. joint you dropped was fire too. I appreciate that. Thank you. So everyone, check that out. All the links will be in the description for everyone to check out Rob's work. Hey, yo, that's yo, not for nothing. Like not calling it garbage now, but like the um, I Machine, but because I Machine is just so like it can only, it's so limited. Only do what, yeah, so you can much. only do so much. The drums and the drums but they, that, yeah, they, they was given sounds. with yeah. that shit. Cause mm-hmm. like, I, cause I had machine like, and so like I, I had machine when when the iPhone four was out. So I was messing around on my iPhone four, right? And you could start the beat, 
on the on the fo- on the iPhone and then like transfer that shit to the uh to the software. Like it, it was dope, but like you you literally was getting like a four ball loop. You know what I mean? It was just like, oh, I can't wait till I get home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Was, they say that that i machine is what Madlib was using. For real? I Word. Don't I don't know how. Man, listen. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, I've made some beats in iMachine when I first started on the um, iPad, and I just bounced them out and added other shit. And I think I was in Beatmaker too, also. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. this is before BM3. Yeah, this is definitely before that. This might be before um, IMPC Pro Two. I think I was like mm-hmm. on the original IMPC Pro. Yeah, I remember that one. That was the one with the, the one that looked like the, the uh, 2000, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love the layout of that one better than the new shit. I had a homeboy. He um he plays uh, drums in church, and he would use the IMPC as his click track. Like and mm. then, but he'd like have it playing while he was playing. You know what I'm saying? So it might be hitting like the snare drum or something like that. He's just playing over top of it. You can't even hear it, but it's mm. keeping everything like in sync. You know what I mean? Like and, like keeping it from dope. like slowing down, and you know, because if he slows down, you'll hear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. That's dope. That's real dope. Thank you to all of our listeners and those watching. Um, again, all the links to everything you need will be in the description. Rob Victim, thank you again. We appreciate it so much. You can hit me a chick on the beat or go to WeSampleEverything.com. Fellas, go ahead, plug yourselves, whatever you want to plug. You can find me everywhere at J, the number one at Star Beats. You can find me at Beatmaker is a Squad or Beatmaker is a Squad.com or YouTube.com backslash Beatmaker is a Squad. You can find me at C Y P H A O M N I Cipher Omni on everything. Uh, you can find me everywhere, Rob Victim R O B V I K T U M on everything. Sounds good. All right, and thanks so much again. We appreciate the support. Yeah, thanks, bro. Thank I you. appreciate y'all. Thanks for having me. Uh, if there's anything I can do for y'all, just let me know. Got appreciate you. it, bro. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Vice versa. Word. Peace. Word. Peace. All, All right. right bro.